Would you like to learn a strategy to attract more opportunities from other people's listings ethically? Let me share with you a strategy. It's called OPP, Other People Properties. Other People's Properties, I'm not talking about the hit rap song from 1991 from Naughty by Nature called OPP. You perhaps remember Down With OPP, not that song. I'm talking about other people's properties, in this case, listings. So I'm going to share with you six ways you can attract more opportunities through OPP or other people's listings. Number one, you can attend other agents' broker open houses, you know, caravans, tours. You can attend their open houses each week, get their permission ahead of time, and perhaps take some photos and some video, maybe a live stream for from there. And so all of a sudden your database weekly or bi-weekly, they will see you touring some amazing properties and you might get some inquiries about a potential showing. That's number one. Number two, you can attend other agents open houses or host other open houses for other agents listings in your office. Some states will allow you to host open houses outside of your own brokerage. Check with your broker owner. But number two is hosting open houses at other people's listings. Okay, so again, you can get buyers from that. You can leverage that to number three. And number three is neighbors of those other agents listing. So if you're hosting an, house, an open house at another agent's listing, you can door knock the neighborhood. You can reach out to them and say, listen, I'm hosting an open house down the street. There's gonna be some disappointed buyers that for whatever reason, they didn't like that house, but they want this school district. They want this neighborhood. If you've ever thought about selling, I can, I can find you a buyer and bring you an off-market buyer, save you time, aggravation, and maybe even some fees. So that's number three. Number four is the I have a buyer. So what I mean by that is just that. So let's say you're hosting an open house and you get a buyer and you build rapport with them and they don't like anything that's on the market. You can approach some other properties in the area, whether it be direct mail, whether it be word of mouth, and say, I have a buyer looking in this area. And that all stemmed from another agent's listing through hosting an open house there. So number four is I have a buyer that 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 you attract from these other open houses. Number five is you might reach out to some of these sellers because you do have a buyer and it might actually turn into a listing because that buyer didn't like the home, but you build rapport with the seller. So they eventually get you give you the opportunity to market their home and list their home. And again, from all these things, the sixth thing is you're gonna to get tons of referrals and build content if you are consistently attending other agents broker open houses. If you're consistently hosting open houses at high-end and unique properties, you're gonna help build content. You're gonna help build a database of potential buyers and sellers. So again, OPP, other people's properties, we're talking not about the Naughty by Nature song, we're talking about how to leverage other agents' listings legally and ethically. You can attend their broker open houses, broker open houses, houses every week or bi-weekly in different areas that you want to serve and you can host open houses at their listings and attract more buyers and potential listings. You down with OPP, Michael Lafito for other great information, for tips for buyers, for sellers, for market updates, luxury real estate related, reach out to me, leave us a like, leave us a review if this is valuable and save the date. We're going to be doing a in-person luxury designation training March in Arizona, April in Houston, and May in Miami. Again, click on the link to see where I'm speaking next. Michael Lafito, make it a great day.